So the question was around the regulatory burden on entrepreneurs and how uh, my organization kind of supports entrepreneurs through that process. Um, so, I mean, just today we had the CTO of HHS, so Health and Human Services, um, in our office talking to our entrepreneurs about um, what they're working on. So just being able to kind of bring someone in and talk to many people at once is, is really helpful. Um, you know, we've never been afraid of the FDA. In a, in a lot of ways, I think of the FDA as a competitive advantage because if you can get FDA approval like CellScope, they got FDA approval. It takes your competitors that much longer to get to that point. And the FDA really is around to protect patients. And, um, you know, we, we've met with them and we know that they, their intent is to protect patients. So as long as there is a clear process for getting FDA approval, then I think that's a fair thing that we have in our society. I think where it gets um, challenging is when it's unclear, that that process is unclear. And um, there is a lot of uncertainty around the mobile health guidelines. And so if you put a, so medical devices have long been regulated by the FDA. If you claim to treat or diagnose anything, you have to get approved by the FDA. So the million dollar question is, if you put an app, a healthcare app, on your smartphone, does that turn your smartphone into a medical device? And does that app need to be regulated? Um, and for a long time, we didn't, you know, we still don't quite know what the FDA is going to do, but they're starting to put out guidelines. And for me, I'd rather have very clear guidelines of what's regulated and what's not than ambiguity, because that's when entrepreneurs step back and say, well, I'm not going to invest in building this because I don't know if the FDA is going to come down on me. Um, but when we have kind of clear processes and, a, and an understanding and a process that's not too expensive, then I think it's, it's something that is necessary in society.